We're heading through Durango. We hear the steam engine. We're going up to Silverton. Gonna try and catch it on the other end. Here it is. The Million Dollar Highway, probably one of the prettier drives in America. And today we're heading up from Durango to Silverton to try and catch some images of the train along with some landscape images along the way. Pulling in the Molas Pass, I had to work quickly to capture this photograph. As soon as we entered the lot, the light striking the peak captured my eye along with this interesting cloud formation which really balanced out the upper right hand portion of the image which would have been too much negative space had it not been there. Shooting on a partly cloudy day affords a lot of different opportunities for various lighting scenarios, and in my opinion, this one didn't disappoint. Zooming in 10 times, I focused right here on the mountain peak to get this photo tack sharp. Further down the road is a pullout with an overlook that as far as I know has no name, but it's one of my favorite places to photograph we set up a time lapse on the iPhone and got the work. With the well-defined clouds billowing overhead and their silver lining and their dramatic light dancing across the scene, I was still once more in the mood to shoot a black and white photo. For this image, I focused in two thirds of the way, which often works well with landscapes to get a sharp image front to back. I centered the cabin here close to one of the one-third lines and in the edit I put a little bit of a radial spotlight on it to just help draw your attention further into the photograph. Pulling into Silverton, my wife and I were sure excited to see the train until we saw this guy. That's not the steam engine we saw leaving Durango earlier in the day. Turns out the trains were running a little late and there'd be a little waiting around involved before we could get our steam engine photo. But we did a little touring and found a new spot to photograph the train from. Well, here we are. We're just outside of Silverton. We're all set up for the train coming in. Should be any minute now. Got us a new spot by the river. Hope we get some epic pictures. We ended up having a pretty good wait before we heard that lone engine cry. What do you know, two steam engines on one train. Taking use of the camera's autofocus tracking method, I shot this at a high shutter speed using multiple frames per second to capture the perfect image and keep this train tack sharp. Man, I love that train. But before we head home, we're gonna go up over Red Mountain Pass to Crystal Lake. Hoping it's a nice calm day, get some good reflections off the water. Nice moody stormy shot. Let's go see what it is. Well, as we're about to see, there was a little bit of wind at the lake and I didn't get that mirror image photograph that I wanted. Hey, have you guys noticed something? That every one of these images is shot at ISO 400? That's something a little different for me and a little sneak peek at next week's video where I take a look at my experiment I did over the weekend, attempting to shoot this digital camera as if it had a roll of film in it. So if that's something that interests you guys and you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and check back next week for another video. So poking around the lake, I came away with this image which I kind of like, but it was a little bit of a failure as well. 
shot at f18 to attempt to keep the foreground and the background in focus. The foreground is a little soft for my liking, and I probably would have been better off taking two images and stacking them together in Photoshop to get that perfect tackness from the foreground to the back. But I still really like this image, and it's the last one I'm going to share with you guys here today. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming along, and until next time.